Well, here we go. Uh, start of another new project. About a month ago, I made a Remington 870 shotgun replica for Remy. Of course, Remington, Remy, he needed to have his own shotgun. And uh, since that time, it was time to think about, well, man, Booker's going to need a gun, too. So we were thinking sniper rifle for Booker. This is going to be fashioned after a Macmillan 338 sniper rifle. So that's what Booker's going to get, I think. Yeah, I'm still working on it. This guy right here is going to be part of the scope. Have some little crosshairs. That'll, that'll go in there's crosshairs. Barrel will be painted black. It'll have a magazine. Uh, this is sort of the rough outline. I was thinking about trying to have some kind of sliding bolt set up, but now I don't think so. I think now what's going to happen, maybe a little bolt action guy, I'll just be hanging off the side like that to simulate a bolt. It'll be all painted black. Might have some kind of tripod on there, a little bipod rather. We'll see. Anyway, that's kind of where we are right now. Still in the development stages. So, uh, new plan. That cedar piece wasn't wide enough. So I'm kind of thinking walnut, a little exotic wood on there for the bolt assembly. We'll leave that kind of like that. This will go that way. This will go. <clears throat> Initially, I thought about using a piece of a, a gate hardware as a bolt and have it a moving bolt, but boy, I just think that's just going to end up too cheesy. Cool here, I think. So there you go. This little baby's gonna go right about here. Uh, this little guy will go here. We need to work on this trigger assembly here. So what I'm thinking is I'll use my Forster bit and use that to put the trigger hole in there. So. That's it. These will get drilled out, smoothed up, filed down, make that black. A little work to do on this end yet, but for now, I need to level out this top part where my barrel's going to go. And for that, we'll use our block plane here. Alrighty, these are, these are kind of coming together here. These are going to be my, here's my barrel, here's my bolt, barrel, these are my scope mounts, yeah, you see it there, scope's coming in like this, going to have a little bit of extra uh, detail to the four stock here and then also to this back here on the stock, a couple little uh, oak pieces and cedar pieces up here. I'm going to get these guys glued on, on both sides, and then I'll hit all that with my sander. And these two, and then I'll get these all kind of sanded. And it'll get just a little bit more three-dimensional to the to the shape of the rifle. i got to chisel this place out right here, flatten that down so it looks like the magazine's actually fitting inside of there. So that's where we are right now. Here's what's up next. I'm going to, uh, we'll, we're going to put this round barrel onto that flat piece of uh, wood right there. I'm going to take my chisel and I'm going to carve a little groove right down the center of that and that'll help the barrel recess in there just a little bit. These guys are made out of oak, of all things. Oh, nice. So we got plywood, we have uh, walnut for the bolt, cedar for the forend grip pieces, and oak for these little cheek pads. As with uh, all of these little backyard or garage projects, you really try to spare the viewer too much of that tedious time spent sanding. So uh, there you go. Got these rounded off a little bit, flattened this out, curved this down a little bit, smoothed these out a little. Just don't want any sharp pieces on there so the little guy gets a big sliver from that and when he's uh, creeping through the jungle, you know. You just got to make all of these little rough edges not rough so that a uh, little guy out uh, trying to do some sniping on his little brother isn't going to get a big sliver in his hand and squeal out in pain and give away his position. So this is going to be kind of fun. I'm making a little bipod for the front of the rifle. 
Yeah. I'm gonna have this little notch right here that the stock fits down into. A couple little wings will get it sanded up, be painted black. Desert sand paint for the wood portions of the sniper rifle. Had to run for some resupply. Got Booker here with me today. He's gonna help out. We're gonna spray paint the rest of this stock right here. So that's what's happening today. Good morning. A new day begins. Uh, what this is, is the <laughs> recoil pad. Little black leather died right there. And that's gonna go right here. And job one is to get a couple of marks for some screws. They're gonna go down through there. Yeah, you're actually watching glue dry. <laughs> kind of hold that guy in place for the moment. So, that's the little crosshairs piece right there. So a little contact cement on here, and the recoil pad is done. All right, so uh, here's phase number next. I got this kind of all dialed in. I'm making a little uh, side adjustment tool thing that's gonna go on the side of here, but right now we wanna make a little leather uh, cheek pad that's gonna go on here. This will be a nice dark rich brown when it's done being dyed. But I need to get this wet molded on the top so I can fold it around onto the bottom and get my final, uh, my final cuts on there. So this guy, I think I'm gonna start right here like this. It's gonna fit like that. And in order to do this, I gotta wrap this baby with some saran wrap cling film stuff. I'm letting you see this on camera because I suck at wrapping stuff with this. It just goes everywhere. And that uh, leather then will get soaked, probably in the bird bath outside. And then uh, I'll clamp it down on here. Oh, yeah, like I said, I'm really good at cling wrap. Let's try it again. Oh, dude, maybe a piece of tape would really be in order. Why not? There you go. Awesome at cling wrap. Cling wrap is my specialty. Shike. This is just done so that I don't get a lot of water absorbed into the gun stock thing. That's just going to be a big mess if that happens. All right. That's what we're going to do right there, just like that. Bam. So, look at that. I, I'm awesome at cling wrap. I told you. Uh, that's the finished product right there. Kind of pleased with it overall. Got a little leather recoil pad when you're uh, looking through the crosshairs there. 